We continue our coverage this morning in the hunt for James Horn Jr. Here's what we know right now. Thursday morning, Sandra Sutton and her son Zachary were found dead in a Clinton home, and James Horn was listed as a possible suspect. Now, the search for Horn began. Authorities surrounded three homes in Sedalia, including Horn's home, where Sutton had told police Horn held her captive for months. After nearly five hours, SWAT teams searched the homes but did not find him. He is still at large this morning, and he is considered armed and dangerous. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall has been tracking this story since it broke Thursday morning. She was first on scene in Sedalia. And this morning, she's live in Clinton with our continuing coverage from that scene. Dia, what's expected today in this investigation? Well, today we can expect the Jackson County Medical Examiner to release the preliminary autopsy results for Sandra Sutton and her 17-year-old son, Zachary Sutton. We are in front of that Clinton home where they were found dead yesterday. Now, it happened around 4 in the morning. That's when family members came back to this home, and they found both of them dead from what appears to be gunshot wounds. Now, the toxicology reports are going to take another six to eight weeks or so, but today we can expect to get a general sense, the first look at what may have led to their deaths. And we are, of course, tracking the search for James Horn as well. Now, he is five feet, 11 inches tall, 175 pounds. Several agencies are taking part in the search and investigation into his numerous accused crimes. So right now, the Henry County Sheriff's Office, the Clinton Police Department, Sedalia Police Department, Missouri State Highway Patrol, Pettis County Sheriff's Office are all trying to work together in collaboration to find this man who is considered both armed and dangerous. I actually just spoke with a neighbor who lives here in the area, and she told me something very interesting. She often went into the home where Sandra and Zachary were found and says that the person going in would have to have a general sense of the layout, not because it's necessarily really different, but there are some kind of nooks and and crannies and ways that you have to navigate in that home in order to get to a place if you're looking for someone who is inside. And another interesting question that she raised was if he took a car from this home, how did he get here in the first place? So a lot of questions, and we do plan to talk to law enforcement later this morning and get some answers for you. We're reporting live in Clinton this morning. Dia Wall, 41 Action News.